we have one of Buffalo's greatest athletes joining us here on the show in Dane Smith, an NLL MVP and a leader among leaders on this bandit squad that uh, gets back at it tomorrow night at Key Bank Center. Dane, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Thanks uh, for the kind words, and uh, I'm just looking forward to uh, the start of the season uh, tomorrow night. It's amazing how quickly it comes around. It's also amazing how much we remember how good your team has been the last two full NLL seasons. What will make this team as good and give you as great a chance to get back to that championship game? Yeah, you know what? I think every year you you have uh, expansion and which is great for the league. It's not, it's not great for teams. Sometimes uh, losing Connor fields definitely is tough and uh, losing a guy like Kevin Brown to free agency is very tough. Um, I, I was with him for all 10 years that I've been in Buffalo. So uh, losing guys like that, it, it's very hard to kind of get over. But that being said, you kind of bring in some new fresh faces, some younger guys, some guys that bring a little bit more energy. And I think, I think we get too complacent. Sometimes we had a really, really, really good team last year and uh, you kind of rely on um, those guys just to kind of get the job done. And uh, now we kind of brought in some pieces where uh, maybe maybe they just fit that, those roles that uh, we, we are missing. Um, again, our offense was outstanding last year. Um, we had a lot of goal scorers, a lot of guys, playmakers. But we didn't have those players that kind of did the dirty work. And I think this year bringing in a guy like Brandon Robinson from Halifax and um, – uh, Brad McCulley is going to step into a bigger role. It's it's unbelievable to kind of have those guys uh, play a little bit different role, and um, I'm looking I'm looking forward to stepping up my game as well. So you you were talking about having been here now for ten years. Um, how does your off season or your approach, your training, has changed now from when you first got here to now ten years later and having to deal with? You know, you've had injuries, but other things that now you have to deal with. Yeah, you know what? As I've gotten older, I've um, treated my body a little bit better. Actually, a lot better. <laughs> uh, after, after that COVID year, it was one of those years where um, I lost 15 to 20 pounds. Um, and that kind of prevented um, injuries and stuff like that. Um, obviously, I take that time after after games to kind of stretch out and do the little things. But also as I've gotten older, I, I kind of realized that these younger guys are coming up. They're more athletic than they ever have been. And they're coming for my job. So um, when, I, when I'm in the gym training with like the seven or eight guys that are live in Buffalo, um, I'm trying to be the first one there and I'm, I'm going to be the last one like there as well. So it's kind of one of those things where I got to work, outwork these guys to show them, yes, I'm a leader on this team, but also that they're, they're not going to take my spot. Well, it would definitely be hard to take the spot of a two-time league MVP, but yes. we definitely hear what you're saying, and it's uh, a credit to you for the leadership that you've shown because I think it's been obvious to anybody that follows the game just how how much more seriously <clears throat> players take the game and the, the results with the level of play that we see across the league You know, are, are obvious to anybody that's followed the game for quite some time. Now, it's a league like most sports, like you follow, you can follow the fun lead of others. Like we have the Sabres and their goal songs on a nightly basis inside <laughs> of Key Bank Center. And the Bandits put out on social the goal songs for you and your teammates. Uh, take us through what we might be hearing on Saturday night. Yeah, you know what? That's It's actually a stressful um, thing to do it is to pick a goal <laughs> song because you, you don't want people to not like it obviously you don't want to get sick of it but it's got to be something that like for me it's i want somebody to be able to like be like oh i i miss this song and they they can kind of sing along to it uh last year was lip gloss and uh we heard that a few times uh this year i went with Hall of back girls um and i i figured it, it was kind of similar to last year but uh it'll get the people going i hope and i'm hoping to score quite a bit more this year so um especially at home so um it, it, it is a tough decision but it, it's it's a fun thing to do okay hell about girl by gwen stefani right that's that's what Correct. you're talking about so yes. <laughs> when you pick a song are you picking a song for the fans or is it something that you have in your car blasting on the way to the <laughs> game to get ready that there's a difference there 
No, I, I think it's a little bit of both. Uh, I can't lie. That song <laughs> definitely, if I hear it somewhere, I'm like singing along to it as well. It's something that will get me going as much as the fans. So um, it, it's definitely a little bit of both. And you know what? I'm not afraid to say I like that song. So is it the okay, drum so beat? Like the, the boom, 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 and then you get into it? Is that how it goes? Yeah, it's a, it's a beat of it. It's It's everything. Like once you score that goal, you're kind of like, you're pumped. You're like, you're celebrating with your frat teammates and stuff like that. And then like it starts playing and then you're just like, okay, let's go get another goal. <laughs> okay. Now outside of the goaltenders, what song are we least likely to hear this year? Oh, uh, <laughs> you know what? That, that's tough. Um, I'm going to say, uh, unfortunately, uh, Justin Martin his is uh, the new Drake song with 21 because his number is 21. Yeah. I would love to hear it because it's very catchy and his number is 21, but uh, he doesn't like to cross over half much. Not that he can't score, but he just, he, he knows his role. And unfortunately, hopefully we can get him an empty netter this year. Yeah, well, I that mean, would, that would be great. You, you uh, talk about him. And then if uh, Mad Vince scores a goal, that's going to be the Buffalo shout song. So that, that may like not happen but i mean wouldn't that be cool if he did score a goal and that's the song that comes on like let's if go I, that'd be pretty cool right if anyone's gonna do it it's gonna be matt vince that's for sure <laughs> uh Danner, one last one from me before we go yeah uh, um be, and and this guy has always been a personal favorite sadly it doesn't appear as though he's going to be with the bandits even though i thought he might and then i thought he wasn't going to play and now he's going to play what is the real story of david brock and <laughs> And how his off season unfolded, and the fact that we are going to see him again at some point, just not in Bandit's colors. So yes, uh, David Brock, a very close friend of mine. Uh, honestly, is a role model uh, for my career. He, he was my roommate. I forget which year, and I, I actually learned a lot from him. And anyways, um, for him to be obviously signed back in Buffalo, I was looking forward to it. He. He unfortunately um, didn't make it, but he he still has a lot left in the tank. And um, he retired. I think he did that so he could get some a lot of compliments uh, from people because I was one of those guys that told him how much he meant to me in my career and all this stuff. And you can see it all over social media. And then the next day, he ended up signing with Halifax. So it, it was kind of weird how he did that. I might have to <laughs> do that myself to kind of get some compliments and get – uh, people going, but uh, very well played from a, a vet and um, looking forward to playing him. Um, what is it? December 30th. Flag on the play. Flag on the play with the <laughs> retirement <laughs> announcement and the uh, uh, comeback announcement 24 hours later. Flag on the play. <laughs> I agree. Tom Brady did it. He thought he was the next Tom Brady, so he figured he'd do the same. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, Dane, you got a big surprise uh, for social media fans with your walk-in tomorrow something from our friends at napoli's yes definitely i mean every year I, I like to dress a little bit different than other people i probably have 15 to 20 suits and i like being different i like to stand out to the best of my ability and uh napoli's uh made a, a suit for me uh stay tuned to see what that is i'm not gonna kind of give any teasers but um they, they did a great job and i'm looking forward to showing it off Hey, have a great season. Enjoy opening night. There's nothing like it. And uh, best of luck. I know we'll, uh, we'll, we'll catch you down the road here as the season rolls along. Yes, thank you for having me. And I can't wait to see Banderland bumping tomorrow. <laughs>